back to the Night Howlers. You are watching Big Red Wolf Screen, and I am playing Skyblocks in Roblox. We are going to be showing you how to make a fully operational silo for your auto farms. Me and Big Alpha made this the other night. I am going to be recreating it on the other side here and show you how we did it. Let me close this pine door so we can get the full effect. Here we go. All right, you open this door here, and inside there are three chests. And you can harvest all your crops from those chests, making it super easy. We do have washing stations hooked to them, and that makes it so you don't end up with oily crops. Let me go over here to my... Mm, I don't really want to say it's a greenhouse, but it's kind of a greenhouse. And you can see where all the auto farms are set up. They're feeding right into the silo. There's carrots. There is tomatoes, and I believe the top one of this one is potatoes. And now we are going to be recreating it over here on this blank canvas to show you how we created this silo in case you wanted to make one for yourself. Kind of makes it a little more realistic in the farming aspect of things. I built mine with clay just so it looked a little more real. You can, of course, build it with whatever you want. We struggled to figure out how to make a circle, and this was Big Alpha's idea. You kind of have to make almost like a stop sign as your base, and that gives you a little bit of something to go off of. I didn't set up the auto farms yet because I did those as I went just to see where they needed to be. I'm thinking, oh, I didn't do, I didn't do the bottom one, right? I think I'm going to do grapes or berries on the bottom. I just really like the drop, but I'll go ahead and set my chest right now. Here's my chest. I am going to, I think, I think we put them right here. And then we did, and then we did the door right here in the back. And then we ran another conveyor belt in the front. And if you're unfamiliar with where you get the conveyor belts, oops. And that always happens. You build those from the tier three workbench. I actually got gifted one of those by ASD. I've been using big alphas because it does take a lot of resources. And BNC already had one. I didn't want to burn all my resources and build mine. I use mine for other things. But anyway, I've got a few more industrial washers saved up. So now we can make this video and you're just going to keep doing this until you get up to your level here. Hmm, I guess we'll, we can drop it in right there. And he is building up around the belts here because when the crops drop off, you're going to want like a little barrier here because if not they're just going to bounce off and they're not going to go in the conveyor belt like you want them to. Okay, apparently we did not want that piece there because he just chopped it off. Oh, I'm so bad with misplacing blocks. Alright, let's keep building up, getting this set up to where it needs to be. We'll go ahead and get the auto farm set up and we'll show you how to match it up and where to drop it in at. All right, we have our silo built up to the first level. If you're not familiar with how to set up an auto farm, we'll also show that in this video. Since we don't have any put together right now, we're gonna go ahead and do an onion one. That is something that I didn't have over in my other little greenhouse. This is probably plenty. Two onion totems should be enough. I'll also set up a coal totem here. The coal totem, you need that to run your industrial washer. If you don't have an industrial washer, obviously you will not need the coal totem. Big Alpha is planting seeds. You just plant your onion seeds or whatever totem you have next to whatever auto farm you want to run there. So if you wanted to run tomatoes like I have over in the other one, obviously you'll need tomato totems and tomato seeds what the totems do is they harvest for you and they also replant for you which is very nice and then having them attached to this conveyor belt they're going to run down here get all washed up and then they're going to drop down in your diy silo he's making some serious sound effects we also found out with one of the bug fixes 
that you can now ride the conveyor belt. So we were standing on these conveyor belts to use our auto smelters and such. Yeah, you can't do that anymore. All right, let's get back to it while these onions are growing. We're gonna build up our silo to the next level. We're on our second layer. Our auto farm is all set up here. You do not need to plant this far out away from your totems, but then if you get quests to pick plants or harvest onions, you always have extra or whatever crop that you're planting. The third layer of the auto farm is complete. We are where we need to be on our silo. We went two blocks high up off the top layer of my greenhouse here. I'll show you down below. This is a really cool aerial view of the conveyor belts, how they work, how they're dropping the onions down there. One is actually stuck right now on the side of a belt but that does happen oh yeah great footage thanks first layer onion farm oh there goes the second one and as you could see before it is successful very efficient way especially with the onions they do sell for a lot of money I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna fill this in with stone so I can manipulate the blocks to be able to set clay on top and do the final layer here and that is only because we have more stone blocks than clay blocks we used up all our clay last night making this silo seems we were a little unprepared for this silo build but we're we're making do big out oops big alpha is running back and forth between my island and his island and we're, we're farming the clay we're farming the clay all right so i need another layer of the stone right so we can manipulate our blocks. You would honestly think that we would have more clay than stone. I could have put alpha in there. Oh look, it's, it's fine. We can put the final piece on. The final piece, yes! I'm the queen of the castle, yeah! All right, now we need to put our door in. We did go ahead and cut a different hole. I didn't realize Big Alpha did some custom carpentry work over here for this door because it was in between the two greenhouses. He built this little wood plank wall so it would set up because if not, there would just be like this weird hole over here. So. Oh, oh my. He said we could make this a real greenhouse and we could put glass enclosure all around it. Well, we could do that. But for time's sake and video's sake, maybe we'll save that for another day. All right, we are gonna go ahead and set our pine door here. I chose to do this one on the back side. Oh, hey, there's a weird onion just laying here. You're supposed to be my chest. Let's see, how many do we have? It's not been that long. These are gonna fill up way faster then I can collect from them. That's for sure. <laughs> really? Are you serious right now? Yeah, exactly. I knew that was you. <laughs> Let's go get an aerial view before I get trapped in my own island. I'm about to turn perms off because, you know, some people. There it is. We have two silos. Yes. Well, that's all we have for this video. Big Alpha is working on his own build. I'm actually pretty hyped, pretty excited about that. Hopefully that'll be out in the next few days. He's just gathering some really rare supplies that he needs for his, you know, Big Alpha. He's just doing Alpha. But we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like this video if you like what we're doing. And we'll see you real soon. Bye.